Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your weekend reading for October 1st through 3rd, 2021. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's get right into your reading for the weekend. Messages please for people watching for the weekend. Thank you very much. And what do we have? We have strength. And we also have blessings. Well, you got to like that a little bit. All right, so we'll start with the strength energy that's coming in here. This is really reminding you, uh, you know, that you have courage. You have the ability to persevere. Some of you may have a couple of challenges this weekend, all right? Or maybe you're just feeling a little bit tired, a little bit run down, and uh, you're not alone if that is you. There's a lot of people feeling that way right now. We've had a lot of very heavy heavy uh, planetary astrological energy that has been around the last couple of months and, uh, you know, especially in the last week or two. So people are just feeling a little bit uh, a little bit drained. Uh, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, of course, we are uh, starting October, right? So we're right into the autumn season and, you know, the weather is changing, the leaves are falling. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, of course, spring is in the air, right? So you might be feeling a spring in your step. But the strength energy that comes out of this deck really does give you that little bit of confidence boost uh, to move forward to maybe even make some changes in your life. We do have a whole bunch of butterflies of transformation that's there. We also have that beautiful white light of spirit that comes out with this one as well. All right, so this is giving you that little bit of boost that you may be looking for. Now, with this particular card right behind, it almost looks like a full moon that is right behind there. So perhaps some of you have experienced some, uh, some changes within, uh, especially with the last moon cycle that we had the uh, full moon in Pisces, that was September 20th. So that may have been a time for you where you're letting things go. You're making positive change and sometimes even letting something go is a positive change. All right, but it can be draining and it can be a little bit difficult. So we've got this beautiful strength energy that is coming out here for you to help you along your way. And we have blessings coming out this weekend. How wonderful. Um, so this is expect little improvements, little small blessings. Uh, for some of you, there could be some big event that's happening this weekend. All right, but whether it is little or whether it is big, it is beautiful energy. All right, so again, you know, some of you may have been, there's a big full moon in this particular card as well. And, you know, if you are going through a period of transition, of growth, of change, okay, the blessings card is showing you that spirit is guiding you every single step of the way. She's holding this beautiful white light of spirit in her hand. And, uh, you know, this energy is guiding you and it's moving you forward. And yes, sometimes change is difficult. Humans are creatures of habit. All right. But it feels very beautiful for you. Okay. So the moon cycles, I feel the planetary cycles are likely really playing a big role in, uh, even in your weekend. And, uh, I think we do have mercury in retrograde as well. So, um, you know, a lot of people freak out when we've got that, but anyways, it really just means be cautious with your communication. All right. But the blessings card really does show that there's wonderful things afoot. So whether there are things brewing in the background as part of a manifestation journey for you, the blessings card is showing you that yes, the magic is in the air and things are starting to blossom. You may even start to see uh, some of the results of your manifestations come in. So be open and be receptive to people, places, situations, anything new, <coughs> excuse me, anything improving on your existing as well. All right. So, uh, beautiful energy coming in there. So let's see what else we've got for you messages for the weekend, please. Thank you. So first out, we've got the five of cups. Then we have the king of cups in this deck. They're called chalices. And we also have the Nine of Cups. Look at that beautiful progression of energy, right? We start out with something 
maybe feeling a little bit challenged, right? Or something that's not 100% going our way. That's where that strength card comes in. And then we've got the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So again, the moon energy, again, very... Uh, very powerful for you and you know with all of these being cups it feels as though it's a very creative weekend um, there's a lot of emotions at play this weekend all right and there may be love in the air for some of you there as well advice from spirit we have the crone and the crone in this deck is actually the strength card so you've got the strength card coming out twice and then blessings headed your way. There's that moon energy again. What did I say, right? The moon is very, very important for you guys. So it could be if you're on a manifestation journey, you may be really figuring out uh, what your intentions are, what gives you fulfillment, what makes you happy. You're setting intentions. Maybe you're creating a vision board, uh, whatever you happen to be doing with the moon energy as well and all this cups like, wow, okay, um, a lot of emotions in the air this weekend, uh, romance in the air, love is in the air, things are blossoming. Uh, there may also be some um, dreams or things that really do come into play. Uh, and again, with the Five of Cups, there may also be some release that some of you are dealing with, whether this is emotionally releasing something, um, making a conscious effort to move forward from something that has been difficult or challenging or hasn't previously gone your way. And that moon energy is helping you bring things to the surface and is helping you detach. All right, so really a lot of emotions, a lot of planetary energy, but we do have the strength card coming out here twice to show you and to help you uh, know that everything's going to be okay. So the five of cups, right? The five of cups is one of, it can be one of loss. It can also be one of you know, uh, a little bit of longing for what you don't have or what has not transpired in your life yet. All right. It is one of a little bit of sadness, uh, uh, some loss, sometimes a total loss, but sometimes uh, uh, a partial loss or something like, you know, uh, it can be with the weekend read, right? It can be something as simple as you had some plans that didn't go your way, right? Maybe you had a cancellation or something. Uh, it can also be that energy of maybe you're waiting some, for something really good to happen and you may just be in that energy where you feel as though it's not happening or it's not happening fast enough. So the five of cups can really be that um, reminder uh, that there are opportunities, there's possibilities that still surround you. There's a lot of positive energy and solutions that are still around you. But in order to find it, we do need to process our feelings of loss, sadness, negativity, whatever that happens to be for you, and focus on what we want to achieve, okay? Or count our blessings as well. Oh, blessings. Ha, huh, look at that. Uh, count that. I wasn't looking at it at the time, but anyways, count our blessings and that helps us um, uplift our energy. And if you are feeling a little bit down in the dumps, you know what? Those are wonder, those are not wonderful feelings. Um, those are valid feelings. And quite often we do push negative feelings down, um, because we want to put on a brave face for the world. Right. And, but ultimately your feelings do matter and whether someone else agrees with you or not. Okay. And, uh, you know, and so, there is the need there to process those feelings, all right, in order for you to understand why they're there or why you're still feeling them if you've got something coming up from the past. And, you know, and that allows you to have a little bit closer of a look, but then we need to remember to move forward. Always, always, always move forward. All right, so... Um, we've got the King of Cups coming up here as well. The King of Chalices is a beautiful, loving energy. So for some of you, you know, here we have the five, five of Cups and the King of Cups, right? So it can be that you maybe meet somebody new 
uh, that's coming into your life and it may actually bring up some previous feelings from the past, right? And it's like, wow, this person sparks something in me, but I don't know. I just don't know about it, right? I'm just, I don't want to be hurt again. Okay, but the King of Cups as a person is somebody very loving, someone very kind, someone good-hearted, and someone who would have your best interests at heart, and someone who just loves life. They are uh, a positive influence that comes in, and just because it's a king, it can be male or female, okay, but someone who really takes charge in a situation, okay, so, and this person in this particular card is looking right at that five of cups, and this king of cups is in the upright, okay, if this king of cups was, if this king of cups was in the reverse, I would say, hmm, maybe there's a breakup, or maybe there's some sort of argument or fight uh, with your current person, okay, but in this particular one, it feels either there's someone new coming in your life, if you're single, all right, it could even just be a new friend, and that might not necessarily be a new romance, but it may be very much in alignment with something that you were very much hoping for, okay, but this can also be something with a current uh, a current friend or romantic interest okay or someone very important in your life all right that maybe at some point something they didn't live up to your expectations or maybe they're not moving fast enough in something but ultimately everything works out in your favor Okay, so the King of Cups is a very loving energy. Now, this can also represent an aspect of you. It can represent you taking control, taking charge in your life, releasing anything negative that has been holding you back, um, anything from the present, from the past. And this is you really living your life to the fullest, living your best life. Um, you're having fun. You're taking care of yourself and you're really having a good old time. This particular King of Cups uh, shows having a feast. Um, so, you know, maybe you had some dinner plans that didn't quite work out so well. And then there's something that's uh, alternate plans are made that actually really work out in your favor. Because ultimately, we do have the Nine of Cups coming out here as well. And the Nine of Cups is, of course, known as the Wish Fulfillment card. And this is about feeling pleased, feeling content, feeling happy, enjoying your life to the fullest, and attaining Gaining your goals, okay, and really feeling feeling great and feeling good about yourself. So, what are you hoping to achieve? What is your goal this weekend? All right, whatever it is, you may have a rocky start and something may not be going your way, but then it feels as though things really do work out in the end. And we've got this again, nine of cups, and it's like you know, it's like, what were you hoping for? What were you wishing for? Because whether this is just a feeling really good about yourself, okay, or feeling really good about a situation that is playing out uh, during the weekend, very much involving a King of Cups type of person. Okay, so friend, family member, romance, okay, romance is in the air when we've got the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a little bit of a sweep you off your feet kind of energy as well, male or female. So romance may very much be in the air for some of you. All right. Advice from Spirit, we've got the Crone, and the Crone in this deck is the Strength card. So again, you've got the Strength card coming out twice for you, and this is giving you inner strength, inner courage, right? The uh, the Strength card is really all about your inner workings, and this gives you the ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It gives you the ability to rise above anything threatening to um, hold you back or hold you down. Um, it's just this wonderful, beautiful, loving energy. It also reminds you to take care of yourself as well. All right. And this gives you the courage and the, and the ability to persevere and overcome any kind of obstacles in your path. It also, um, I'm feeling in this energy, especially with the moon, uh, it brings in some healing as well. So um, I'm feeling it's very much tied to this Five of Cups energy and also the moon energy. So something uh, that, that is ongoing in your present environment 
or even something from your past that's again bubbling up. The strength card coming out here twice is giving you the ability to really overcome that and to look at things in a more positive light. But it also brings in a gentle energy as well. All right, in like a lion, out like a lamb. So something that has created a little bit of upset or turmoil in some way resolves itself, okay? And this gives you your ability, You this gives you the ability to find a resolution. Blessings headed your way. We've got the moon card and of course the moon brings up feelings, brings up emotions. Uh, and this particular one, again, full moon energy that's coming out of this. So um, the Pisces energy with this one, but a lot of water sign, the, uh, the strength card, the crone is uh, Leo energy. Okay. So, uh, this could have been something, this can be things that have been going on for a while. Okay. Or if you've got, um, if you've working on manifestations, right again, you've probably been working on these for quite some time, but the moon that we just had in Pisces, may have really just sparked something within you for some of you, something, some emotional aspects some feelings coming to the surface. So the moon as a blessing headed your way is giving you the ability to process emotions or process, um, thoughts, feelings, illusions. Okay. That have been, either holding you back, okay, something that you may have been ignoring for a while comes out to the surface, comes out in the open. Um, it can also be something that you haven't quite realized uh, comes up to the surface, okay? So, um, you know, and again, it brings about some creativity as well. So, you know, you may have some, some wonderful creative projects that you're working on this weekend, and it's just things that make you really happy and uh, things that just really kind of uplift you. And it could be that, you know, if you're dealing with a loss or some, you know, some uh, sadness or disappointments, maybe throwing yourself into a creative endeavor or something that you really love is your blessing, right? You have the ability to um, self-soothe maybe, okay, or just find joy and pleasure in what you do. Maybe there's, you know, a hobby, maybe if you... Um, you know, are say a painter, right? In your spare time, right? Maybe you just throw yourself into, you know, painting a portrait or a landscape or something, maybe you get out in nature. All right. And, you know, just kind of have that beautiful self-soothing kind of energy. But the moon um, really also brings up any fears, any blockages that have been um, you know, that have been kind of tucked away and allows you to face them with strength and with courage, right? Feel the fear and do it anyway. So, you know, if you are, for example, if you need to have a conversation with somebody, this gives you the ability to do that. Is there feel old feelings that have been tucked away? Guess what? Out in the open they are, and here you are facing them head on, facing them like a boss and dealing with them like a boss. All right, and so really having that powerful, positive energy. But the moon, again, really does highlight. I'm feeling some of you are doing uh, some manifestation magic with the moon cycles. Okay, and the moon is showing you that yes, you're on the right track. And yes, the blessings that you're looking for, the wish fulfillment that you're looking for may be very much uh, tied to and associated with the moon cycles. So if you are uh, on a manifestation journey, tap into the moon cycles to give yourself that manifestation boost that, uh, that you might be looking for. All right. So, you know, whether you are starting your journey or whether this wish fulfillment card coming in is an opportunity that's coming in here for you that has the potential to make you very happy. Okay. Um, is really all very, very positive and, you know, pay real close attention to those moon cycles. So I'm going to leave that. Nope. Thank you. I'm going to leave that there for you, but I'm going to grab you a couple of last cards. And this is out of the four agreements deck. And the concept behind the four agreements is this is four personal codes of conduct that put you on the path to freedom and personal happiness. So the first code is be impeccable with your word. The second is don't take anything personally. 
The third is don't make assumptions, and the fourth is always do your best. And the concept behind these is if you embrace those four agreements, then you can live a happy, abundant, prosperous life. So let's just get, I'm gonna get you two of these, and last message is please for people watching. Thank you, we'll take both of those. So the first one that came around is don't take anything personally, be immune to others' opinions. All right. And you know, sometimes people come from a positive place. They want to help and they've got opinions and advice, but quite often that is based on their experiences. And someone said to me once um, that when someone else tells you you can't do something, they're actually showing you their limitations and it's nothing to do with you, right? So, you know, uh, sometimes people do come from a good place, but it's based on what they would do and they are not you. All right. So be immune to others' opinions. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. Oh, look at that. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. All right. And this that could be that five of cups. Maybe you want to do something or maybe you meet somebody that sparks some sort of chemistry within you. And someone says, no, nah, no, nah, they're not for you. Right. And you're like, really? Well, I kind of think that it might be. Pay attention to yourself. And we have don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. All right, so put that right beside the moon. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in here that resonated with you in some way. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Looks like you might be having some fun. Okay, and uh, so anyway, so I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.